Hey there everyone, my name is Darina and this is my awesome team of Lisa, Nicole, Leo and Dominique. Here is what we'd like to talk to you about. It's no secret that these days people get pets not for any specific reasons, like cats for catching mice or dogs for hunting. First of all, we get them for our soul and they become beloved members of the family. But recently there has been another cool trend of dogs and cats becoming real media personalities and internet celebrities. They have their own pages on Instagram and other social nets, they have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And of course, this is all thanks to their owners, who actually keep these accounts and make high-quality photo and video content. If you are also thinking about making your pet an internet star, or you just want to learn how to take beautiful pictures of your pet, then this video is for you. So, what are the features of shooting pets? I just want to say that I am not a professional animal photographer. I have no special education or equipment. I have a simple SLR camera and I often take photos with my phone. That's why today I will not go into such details as ISO hardware settings, shutter speed, aperture, correct light and so on. I will leave it all to the professionals. Instead, we are gonna talk about something else. All photos of your pets can be divided into three types. First of all, it's exhibition photo. A photo for advertising, a ring, exhibitions and so on. The main purpose of this photo is to show the exterior of the dog in the best possible way. Secondly, it's reported shooting, or I can also call it situational. I mean, these are not staged photographs. For example, your pet is busy with its own business, it is a place with a toy or does something funny, and you simply take pictures without distracting your friend. In this case, it is appropriate to use continuous shooting, and you can set the camera to motion capture, so the focus will not be blurry. And the third type is portrait photography, staged photos that are now very popular on the Internet. Such photos are most often taken with use of certain accessories, or there is a certain theme or the style of photography. They can take place in the studio or at home. A win-win option would be to start taking photos against a white background, against a white wall, if you have one in the house. This is just perfect. There are lots of cool accounts on Instagram with these kind of photos. Learn the photo command with your pet and be sure to praise the dog and give it a treat if the dog behaves well in front of the camera. Lots of pets start to pose very professionally in front of the camera with the help of this command. And to make the dog look at the camera, there is a popular life hack when you attach a treat or a favorite toy to the phone or the camera. Don't photograph your pet from above, but at the level of its eyes. I believe such photos are quite real. And of course, accessories and themes will make the photos very bright and lively. Therefore, today I will tell and show you how to make very simple accessories for photos and after that we will have a small photo shoot of my dogs. I think it will be fascinating, so stay with us! For the boys we're gonna make collars. We need a man's shirt. I'm sure there will definitely be one in the house that is already either small or you don't like it. We take scissors and simply cut off the collar along the edge. It's ready! Let's make an elegant option for days off. For this we will take a white shirt. I already have an old shirt, I use it in my other DIY. Just cut off the collar in the same way. Everything is very simple. Now let's make a bow tie. This will be an express option, as quickly and easily as possible. So I took felt and a regular elastic band. Cut out a rectangle from the felt. I have 3 to 5 inches. Then cut out a strip 0.8 inches wide, measure the girth of the dog's neck and cut off the elastic band of the desired length. Then start making a bow tie. First glue the band in the center with hot glue. Fold the bow tie and fix it in the center. And how do you like this version of a bow tie, specifically for dogs? In order to make a bow tie in the form of a bone, I drew a template a bone about 4 inches long. 
Apply the template to the felt and cut it out. You'll need two of such details to make the bow tie tighter. Glue the parts together with hot glue and glue the rubber band. Look how cool it is! The boys are ready. Now let's move on to the girls. For them we will make girlish colors, also from felt. In addition to felt, we also need a ribbon and decoration. Make a round color template from paper and transfer it to felt. This part is quite big, it is better to fix it with pins. Cut out the color. Then, on the inside of the color, add the edges, glue to ribbons. This will be the ties. Now the only things left is to add the decoration in the center. It looks really nice. I can't wait to try it all on my dogs. And one more simple idea. You will need a white ribbon, a narrower ribbon of a different color, and an artificial flower. Make a bow from a thin ribbon, then move 25 inches away from the edge of the tape and glue it and the flower on top. Do not forget to burn the edges of the ribbon. Now, let's take pictures. The last step is the post-processing of the photo. If you strive to keep up with trends, then you probably know that now there are lots of applications that will help you to get rid of unnecessary yellowness, to make the photo more white, to add saturation and contrast, to make beautiful blurred background and so on. I usually do an express photo processing on my phone using the Lightroom app. And that's all for today. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe so you don't miss anything. And see you on the Rejects channel. Bye!